what you'll have is a uh, cycle A, it'll be a low temperature cycle, and cycle B, a high temperature cycle, and they're linked by a heat exchanger, where for cycle A, that heat exchanger behaves as a condenser, and for cycle B, that heat exchanger behaves as an evaporator. And so there's no heat transfer to the surroundings, but within the heat exchanger, there's plenty. So what you're able to do is have two compressors pick up some heat, provide the cooling, Q dot uh, in the evaporator here, and then you eventually reject it out here, Q dot uh, reject. And you could have different fluids, different refrigerants to match the temperatures at which you want to bring it up as well as the pressures that you want inside the compressor and inside the evaporator and condenser. Uh, only real new thing is, is to do a control volume around this heat exchanger. And you could go ahead and do it slowly, but you can get the equation for the first law, energy balance, and manipulate it such that it reads, it's readable, and it'll be Q dot out of the fluid in A is equal to the rate of heat transfer that's into the fluid in cycle B. And the out of the fluid in A is the mass flow rate of A times the enthalpy 2 minus enthalpy 3. True? Does that make sense? That's the rate of heat transfer out of that working fluid as it flows through the, that bottom part of that heat exchanger. Likewise, mass flow rate of B times the enthalpy 5 minus enthalpy 8. You could have whatever numbering system, but this is, I think, what the numbering system the book uses. Okay, and then you could get what is the coefficient of performance for this refrigeration system. It's what you desire, a lot of cooling in this evaporator related to the mass flow rate of A times H1 minus H4. Then you divide it by the power required to drive the compressor in A and the power required to drive the compressor in B. And those powers are mass flow rate of A times enthalpy 2 minus enthalpy 1 and mass flow rate of B, enthalpy 6 minus enthalpy 5. So once you have a good schematic, make a table of all the properties. The enthalpies are the key key piece. You get those enthalpies, mass flow rates. You can calculate the rate of heat transfers as well as the power to drive the compressor.